uh, to play. So in his presentation, he talks about how he, uh, how it took him just 20, 20 hours of delivery practice to learn it. So he doesn't know any instrument. He hasn't played any instrument, but he just took 20 hours of de delivery and focus practice. And uh, he got uh, pre pretty good at it. So that's actually um, mo motivated me to learn new, new things faster. So why learn these things fa faster? So I don't know if you know her, but she's a known uh, psychologist, Angela. So she's known for her uh, theory on Git, uh, Brits, sorry. So she tells us that uh, the number one predictor of success uh, is one's grit. So grit is a combination of passion and preservance. Uh, so preservance. So what it means is you have to have grit. You know, you have to stand through the storm, you know, through the hard times and through every challenge you get in order to be go good at it. So you have to have a growth, mi a growth mindset, not a fixed mi mindset. I, I don't know if you know that too, but she talks about that. And the second thing is your ability to learn something new qu quickly, because as we know, it, the, the world is uh, changing very fast. So in this dynamic world, you have to upgrade yourself continuously and learn new, new things. New trends are ca coming every year or, or so. So you have to learn so much in a short period of time. So. Um, so this theory, uh, these two theory theories le led me to learn how to learn faster. So that's why I wanted to share this. So I'm pretty sure that most of you guys know these two curves, the learning curve and the practice curve. So in the learning curve, it's a very steep and a very uh, steep climb to getting good. So here is the first practice, and this is a practice time, the number of practice you do, and this is a proficiency. The proficiency means how good you are at it. So the first time you do it, you're going to be bad or you're going to suck at it. The first Python code, Python code you're going to write is going to definitely fail, and so on. So, But as you go, the, uh, with more practice, when more and more de delivery and focus practiced, the more go good you, you get, right? So the second graph actually shows us, uh, sorry, uh, the second graph actually shows, shows, shows us that with more practice, the easier it takes, the easier or the shorter it takes to do something. So the first time you do something, it might take you two hours, three hours, but the hundredth times it, may, it might just take you 10 minutes or so. So. I want to share some strategies that I do or I, I use. So the first thing I do is I decompose a skill. So I wanted to learn data science. So I start with what do I want to learn and why do I want to learn it? So because knowledge is a very vast thing and we in this short amount of time, we, you can't grasp it all, right? So the first thing I do is figure out what I'm going to learn and why. I'm going to learn it. So in the data science perspective, I wanted to learn the data science because I felt, or I, from my research at least, I know that it's a impactful and fulfilling job or career. So that's why. But we can narrow it down. And for example, if you want to learn uh, SQLearn or uh, Streamlit, for example, to build that dashboard. So you want to learn Streamlit. So why do you want to learn it? So this actually uh, helps us to narrow down or to, to narrow down our focus to a point, right? So the second thing I like to, to, to do is do some research, but I want to, to look for, uh, to look at unconventional things, you know? Unconventional in a sense means um, I'm not going to go to the teacher or, or go to uh, someone who did it by the book. So, I want someone. I, I'm. I want to look at someone who had a similar uh, path as I, I'm having. So, I don't want someone who did it by the book. So, I want some, someone who did it in a short period of time, but an effective, an effective way. So, for instance, I think the best example is if you want to learn data analysis. So, 
for me the best thing to do is go to the youtube go to youtube and look up for uh alex the, the, the data analysis so and take his course so his course literally takes three months or two months depending on you so but he is effective in many ways so uh, i look for unconventional ways to do this so and the third thing which is actually the basic and the major thing for me is to learn just enough to self-correct so what does this mean is it means that you don't have to learn everything all at once so you just have to learn enough just to know what's wrong and how to correct it you know just you just have to know the basics so in python it's a you know it's a large mo module right so you don't have to know everything about python so if you want to learn everything about python it might take you years or you know like a couple of years or so so what i like to do is learn just enough just so, so that I, I can self correct so for data science to be specific you just need to learn some basic python package right modules right so if you learn pandas numpies and so it's enough just to start because of course you're gonna study the rest as you go in work in the work life but just as a starter you just have to know enough to self-correct so i i hope it makes sense and the next one is remove practice barriers so what it means is just remove any distractions like it might be social media i have to get rid of many things many distractions just to fo focus on these things and the last one is which is i think the, the point where most of us fail is to practice for at least 20 hours so practice at least for 20 hours 20 hours means the practice time not the amount of time it takes from start to finish but the deliberate and focus time so uh, practice for 20 hours means like as i showed you in this graph uh, the first few practices the first the first few hours as are going to be hard you're gonna feel like you're stupid you're gonna feel overwhelmed you're gonna feel like you don't know anything and you're gonna feel like you know like self-doubt so just promising yourself that you have to you will do it at least you get to through uh, like 20 hours or 40 hours of practice is going to help you a lot so that's it for me uh, just as a pointer uh, to cultivate a learning mindset you have to have you have to be curious and you have to have a gross mindset and you have to be grittier you know grit means you have to be pa passionate and you have to stick with it and uh, having a gross mindset means with every challenge or every um, uh, challenge or failure you have to remember that's not permanent and everyone had failed be before they su succeeded so the other thing that's key to having a learning mindset is uh, co continuous improvement so you have to learn after you finished le learning right so learning is not something you achieve but you grow with it so manage your le learning environment get rid of distractions uh, actually through active learning you learn by doing as we are doing right now uh, and give my give back to your community so help others that are going through the same path as you and share your experience as i'm doing right now and the last one one is access through uh, access um, assess yourself continuously so you have to be so you have to ask questions like where are where were i yesterday where I, where am i today and where i where do i want to be tomorrow so that i think i believe that is key too so for me uh, i already shared this so from gears to ai or algorithm uh, so my journey from being a mechanical engineer to data science was not easy it was de definitely hard but uh, but i had the grit and the passion to do uh, most to go through most of the failures and i'm still learning a lot and i'm still going through a lot of failures so we will see what happens uh, so i want to end this uh, short uh, talk with uh, quotes 
So the major uh, barrier to skill acquisition is not intellectual, it's emotional. So I know so many uh, smart pe people are scared to fail, so they're not trying, right? So many people, including me, of course, I'm the biggest one. So it's not about intellectual. It's not that you are you don't have the ability to do it, but you're just scared to do it, or you're just scared of failing, or what others might say when you fail. So that's a major barrier you have to come across or you know jump over. So have a growth my mindset and be grittier are my last uh, words. So thank you everyone for your time. So if there are any questions or anything, I'm happy to answer. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think, Abil. Okay, thank you, uh, Gerard. So uh, it was a great presentation. It was inspiring. I share something with you uh, because I was an electromechanical engineer and joining the software engineering uh, uh, while working a full-time job. So I want you uh, to say something about planning, you know, because uh, you said, there is a growth mindset, there is a grit and everything. But uh, there is also life. And sometimes we have to do uh, some other jobs in order to survive or uh, keep going, you know? So I want you to share, to share the experience of planning and executing and how you manage to do that. Uh, or uh, were you full-time learning or something about that? Thank you, Carol. It was an inspirational uh, presentation. Okay, thank you, Avi. So, you are also one of my inspirations. So, uh, yeah, I do have a full time job. I did. So, I'm planning to quit because I am. I want to stick with, with this one. But the thing I I do is, as I as I've said, I don't like taking too much time. You know, for focusing on something that I'm not I'm not going to use. So what I do is, I've, as I have mentioned before, I look for resources. I search for resources, but in an unconventional way. So what I did is, when I decided to learn data science, I found, I looked for data scientists, right? So I looked for uh, past, I actually got some of the, my connections were past alumni of 10 Academy. So they are the ones that recommended me this pro pro program. But what I did was I found, I looked for some uh, data scientists, AIs. So I connected with, with them through LinkedIn or personally, you know. So I just asked them, so what, what do I have to do? So draw me a ro roadmap, right? So I got my roadmap. So I, I knew what I needed to, to do and when and how intense or how deep I want, I needed to go. So the thing that I do is, I search for resources in unconventional way. So I'm not going through all of it all at once. Of course, I will in the time when I, you know, get used to it or, you know, like when I get uh, comfortable with it. But for now, I'm just going to focus on what's important. So for a data science scientist, what's important? For an AI algorithm writer or someone who wants to build a chat box, what's important? So I try to focus on those points by asking someone in in the industry. Uh, I have connected with some people that have worked for years, you know, like for 10 years or 20 years, some who have just worked for two years. So I just got their, their insights. So I just focused on those points. So I don't like to waste time by looking on, or, or by trying to learn all of it. I just try to learn what's relevant for now. Just, you know, just learn, you know, just enough to self-correct. So other than that, you will learn with time. So I, I hope I, I have answered your question. Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you very much. 
uh, I will make sure to reach out for some other people in order to uh, find a strategy that's actually wise otherwise. Something I, I haven't used yet, but I will make sure to do it and use it. Thank you very much, Gerard. Okay, thank you, Abel. Thank you. Thank you. So, Basil, I think. Uh, hey, uh, I want to say thank you. Yeah, it was a very inspiring uh, presentation. Uh, so you already briefly described uh, your journey. One of the issues for me and one of the issues I find for many people is that when you hear the word data science or you hear the, the word AI, machine learning, whatever, it just sounds something so outside this world. And so. Where did you get that uh, gut to say, yeah, I think I can try this and I, can, I think I can do it. Was there a journey for you there uh, where you, uh, which gave you the confidence to, to pursue it in the first place? Yeah, um, actually uh, a bit, uh, I don't know the word, uh, stubborn on things so i think that helps me a lot but uh, the main thing i uh, i do i will, or i tell my, myself is that if someone has done it i definitely can do it so i as i've to told you three months ago i have no idea about the data science uh, i'm not joking but for uh, like i have ne never heard, heard of a data scientist or a data an analyst AI, I didn't know anything about AI. Of course, I used te te technology, but I didn't know how they made it or anything about it. So I wasn't even interested about, you know, uh, fi finding out about it. So uh, as I've told you earlier, I saw a project. So I believe that everyone has a purpose, right? So our pe purpose in life is to make yeah, an impact. So. I believe that the data science wordlet is making a huge impact on the wordlet. As I've told you earlier, I don't know if you uh, if you missed it or not, but I saw a project who called the Wi-Fi project. Uh, I don't know if you know it or heard about it, but so the Wi-Fi project is basically a ten years old project. So it has been ten years. The AI or the information were not that you know huge, but a data scientist by the name of I forgot her name. Her, her name is uh, a bit hard to pronounce, but she and her team uh, managed to use a photo of a satellite of a wildfire. So, as you know, America experiences the North America experiences a lot of uh, wildfires. So they they managed to use the just the a picture of from the satellite of the wildfire and uh, some weather data to analyze or to predict where the wildfire is going to go next, you know, like the speeding, the spray, how it's going to be to spread. So by analyzing that, uh, you know, like by analyzing that, they managed to stop the wildfire be before it's too late. So that mo motivated me and showed me how impactful the data scientist or the data world in uh, total is so the thing that helped me a lot is or my what motivated me a lot is if someone did, did it i can de definitely do it so i can't even do it better than them because i have now uh, have resources that they didn't have right so they had a little, little resource when they started but i have resources around more resources so I can't do it better. So that's the mindset I have be, uh, behind. So I hope I have uh, answered your question or I don't. Yeah, yeah, you've answered it. Uh, that's great. Uh, it's a great mentality. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bro. So I don't think there are any more questions or are there any? Hello everyone, any other question? Okay, I guess, I guess everything was clear. 
uh let's really appreciate carrot let's show him some love in whatever emoji you can send really carrot we appreciate you i got just to have a random conversation with carrot and it's when i learned that he didn't have any background in technical skills and i was super impressed on how he managed to navigate um the journey and how he managed to be you know performing on the level that he's performing to and even be helping others it was super impressive and thank you so much really carrot um you know th that time i got to ask him if he can share like what kind of strategies he um he used just to navigate this journey successfully and he was like yeah yeah i can share that uh on learning how to learn specifically as the topic and i'm super happy that it has added value and that you all liked it and picked a, a, a lesson or two or three really super amazing i look forward to the next career session like this and yeah thank you everyone sorry thank you everyone for tuning in and uh let's meet to the guest talk that will be happening as the last session of the day and i am pretty sure that you all are waiting for it absolutely so thank you everyone and thank you carol we appreciate you big time thank you everyone thank you for your time so see you around on slack yeah see you see you everyone